Well, researchers at the Henry Ford Health System have released a new major study of hydroxychloroquine. They found that the drug's early use against coronavirus may cut the death rate in half. Amazing. Fox Medical contributor Dr. Mark Siegel joins us tonight to discuss this. Doctor, thanks so much for coming on. This is something we've talked about many times. We've heard about the horrors of hydroxychloroquine from the media. If you are in a risky population here and you are taking this as a preventative uh, treatment to ward off the virus, or in a worst case scenario, you are dealing with the virus, and you are in this vulnerable population, it will kill you. I cannot stress enough. This will kill you. What do you make of this study? This is a groundbreaking study, Tucker. I spoke to Dr. Steve Kalkanis, who is the chief academic officer at Henry Ford Health Systems, and he said, as you pointed out, that it cuts the death rate from COVID-19 in half in the 2,500 patients they studied. And they have another study coming up, 3,000 healthcare workers to see if it can be used as a preventive. This is very big news, and it's a very big step in the right direction. If you are in a risky population here, and you are taking this as a preventative uh, treatment to ward off the virus, or in a worst case scenario, you are dealing with the virus, and you are in this vulnerable population, it will kill you. I cannot stress enough. This will kill you. Now, I also spoke to Congressman Michael Burgess of Texas today, who's the Republican leader of the House, as you know, subcommittee on health. And he said he's been getting calls from all over the country. Why isn't hydroxychloroquine available for frontline use at a time when the, the COVID outbreak pandemic is increasing in Texas? And of course, the answer he gave is politics. And Tucker, as you know, I gave it to my, I had a cardiologist prescribed it to my father and he got, apparently got dramatically better. And I've given it to many patients in March and April who got better due to hydroxychloroquine likely. So why has the emergency use authorization been reversed on it? This study may change all of that, Tucker. There's a lot of pressure on the FDA tonight to reverse that, the emergency use authorization. Now you can prescribe it off label, but many physicians, according to Congressman Burgess, also Dr. Burgess for 30 years, by the way, is that there's pressure not to use it. So the FDA has to step up to the plate here. This appears to be a potential very, very usable treatment early in the game. It's been studied against the virus. It's cheap. It's very cheap, actually. It's less than 50 percent per pill, and it's been around for 50 years. We know its side effects. Doctors should be free to use it. It should be studied further, Tucker. It's very promising. It's, it's remarkable. You hate to see politics drive science, the Soviet model. It doesn't work, but that's what's happening. If you are in a risky population here and you are taking this as a preventative uh, treatment to ward off the virus, or in a worst case scenario, you are dealing with the virus, and you are in this vulnerable population, it will kill you. I cannot stress enough. This will kill you. Subscribe to the Dummy Funnies now!